you will need a computer, a USB 3.0 port, an Elgato AC60S capture card, a source to capture from, and two HDMI cables. Step 1. Disable HTCP from the source you want to capture from. You can disable this in settings. Where you're going to actually find it in the settings is a little bit different depending on your console, but it's all the same setting. Step 2. Install and open Elgato's Game Capture software. Download Elgato Game Capture from Elgato's website. Link in the description. Install and run the program. Note if you're using the Elgato AC60S Plus, not the regular S, you will need to install Elgato 4K Capture Utility instead. Step 3. Connect the capture card to your computer. Connect the USB 3.0 side of the included cable into a USB 3.0 port on your computer and the other end into the Elgato AC60S. Step 4. Connect the source you want to capture to your capture card. Plug one end of an HDMI cable into the device you'll be capturing from. Plug the other end into the HDMI in port of the AC60S. Plug another HDMI cable into the monitor you intend to play on and plug the other end of that cable into the HDMI out port of the capture card. If your console isn't already on, turn it on and you should see your footage in both the Elgato game capture software and on the monitor you're passing the footage through to. If it gets stuck on please wait or initiating, then you can close the program and open it back up. This should usually solve the problem. In Elgato game capture, you can now choose between different frame rates, bit rates, and resolutions. Step 5. Send capture card footage to other software. To do this, first close Elgato Game Capture. This is because you can only use the HD60S in one program at a time. Then open OBS or whatever other streaming program you have and add the Elgato HD60S as a capture source. You can even use this footage in other apps like Zoom. This is very useful if the source you're capturing from is a DSLR or other camera. Now you're done.